Hey guys, it's Brian from Airhead Garage, and today we're going to be putting pistons and cylinders together on our Porsche motor. So, a big thank you to Jake Raby. If you do not know who Jake Raby is, and you're in the Porsche or Volkswagen community, Jake is the premier engine builder. His motors are going to cost you, but you're paying for experience, and you're paying for the best quality. It's all about that. With that being said, I reached out to Jake, and Jake had a pair of Keith Black pistons, 96 millimeters, for a Type 4 Porsche motor available. And I snatched them from him. Today, we are going to check the ring gap in our cylinders, and then we're going to install the pistons into the cylinders and get them in on our 67 Porsche engine. So with that, let's get into this. Let's do this. So here's the thing. Most Porsche Volkswagen pistons, they'll have an arrow pointing to the direction of the flywheel. Well, as you can tell, this piston here does not have it. That's because that is a Keith Black piston. Now, whether you're a Porsche, Volkswagen, or even Corvette and high-performance General Motors stuff, you know Keith Black makes some impressive uh, pistons. So, with that being said, we need to check our ring gap, and it's a little bit different than most normal pistons in the Porsche Volkswagen community. So here's our ring, and I've marked it to where it's the top going up. You take your cylinder, and you stick it in there all the way, and you get it in. Now, once you have it cut it in, you take your piston, and you want to push it down to where it's right in line. Pull it out. Now, if you Google a Porsche, you know, 914, 912E uh, Type 4 motor, it's going to tell you that the uh, spec for the ring gap is like 0 .006. And I could be wrong. Don't quote me on this. It's, you know, Saturday afternoon. But I found that with Keith Black pistons, they don't require that tight of a gap. So the book says 0.26. I found out that it's 0.18 for me. So if I come in here, that right there, see that? It catches and drags. That's 0.8. I'm okay with that. I can live with that. That is good enough spec for me. So that top oil ring in my world is good to go. So I'm going to put this back on the cylinder, and we're going to get to installing the piston into the cylinder. Let's do this. When it comes to lining these pins up, you never want to line them up with the wrist pins. So this first one, we're going to do 12 o'clock high. Your second one is always going to be 180 out. So we're going to pull that one down. So 180 there. See it right there? That's right there. That's that. And then your other ring, you're going to put that back upside here. So find that. So we got one ring. This top ring right here, it is at 6 o'clock. We have our top ring at 12 o'clock. And we got this ring here down there at 6 o'clock. So they're alternating. Now it's time to grease up or oil up our pistons. Now, let's clean this up. Make sure this is nice and clean. I'm going to take our rag, clean out that cylinder. Make sure she is good and clean. Look at that. Look at all that dirt that was in there. Yep. Nope. Don't want any of that dirt on there. Okay. Now, we have our piston. We've already gapped it, remember? So we have one gap up the top. This gap's at the bottom. This gap's back at the top. We're going to take our oil. And we're going to coat this okay nice and good make sure everything is still there up the top for that one this one here is at the bottom good good everything is lined up perfectly 
Put a little bit of oil on these skirts and your hands will be good dirty. So just be prepared for it. And that's good to go there. And then just a little bit of oil in here because you know, it's gonna happen. It, they're gonna go together. This in the piston. So in order to do that, set it in here. You may have to set this. Now you can grip these from any place. Make sure it's big enough. Slip it over. Okay, there it is. So we'll come over here and now we're starting to tighten it. Just click it, click it. You want to make sure it's tight. Okay, that's tight. Now, here's our cylinder. Piston ring, or the wrist pin has to go this way. I'm going to put it in just like this. Okay, next, let's get a uh, rubber mallet and let's pop it down. So here we go. We got it like this, and you're just going to pump it. If it doesn't go, take your tool and make it a little bit tighter. Do that. A couple more clicks there. Now, it's in. It is in. Now, you need to get it to where it's right here where we can put that wrist pin in. So take it and just push it back down. And then when you feel it bottom out, you can see where it's at. Take it like this. And you wanna just push it out just to where that is. Now it's come out a little bit too much there. So we'll come over here. And while that's still there, we'll just pop it back down. Rubber mallet. Now, that's where you want it. You want it just where you can get that wrist pin in. So come over here and we'll... Right there. Now you can see you can put that wrist pin in with no problem. This here is now piston number one. Let's go ahead and get the rest of them done. There we go. We're ready to install these in the case. Pot diggity damn dog. <sighs> celebrate the little victories in your life. Little victories, just celebrate them, you know? Just have a cigar and a drink and just be happy that you got some through some shit because this is a big deal. Now we gotta do more work.